right, I'm getting ready to install a Motion Pro throttle cable. So, um, I already took off the fairings and um, the original black side panels here and the seat. All that should be relatively standard for most people. Um, if you have a question about these side panels, it's just one Phillips head and then they slide uh, forward right out of the way. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to take off this tank. So um, I already took off the hex bolt there and on the opposite side in the same place. The one at the front. And I will take off this pivot one here in a little bit. But before that, I am going to disconnect these hoses, the two that you can see right here, as well as that line right there which has a protective plastic bracket around it um, that I've got to take off first in order to get that off. So after I take off those two and that one, I'll be able to pull the tank up and set it aside, which I'm going to do right now. So the next thing I just did was I pre-loosened all of these Phillips heads going around the top of the air box. Um, they can be in there very tight so just be careful as you're taking them off to not strip them. Uh, use a P2 Phillips head screwdriver and once I get those off I may have to disconnect uh, this fuel cable here so by pulling that back and taking it down, uh, there might be a little fuel spillage. And I'm going to try to um, not disconnect this wire because I can't really see where that goes, but it, it goes down in there and I don't think it's detachable too easily. Um, I could be wrong on that. But I'm going to try my best to just keep it simple. Alright, so now that I've got the top of the air box pulled back and go ahead and remove the air filter here. It's just two little clips on the top that just go around the lip um, so that comes right off. And then I believe we've got to go one step farther and get this next piece of plastic off here. Alright, so I've peeled back that lower plastic piece now. Um, there was a couple hex uh, bolts, this one here, 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 and here from the other side that you need to get pretty deep down. Sorry for the terrible focusing here, um, but yeah you need to have a pretty long Allen wrench or attachment to get those. Um, then I also had to disconnect this hose from the bottom and then this hose connected to the front of it so before I could peel it back fully. Um, so now, now we can see the throttle cable uh, coming in here. Um, Here-ish down there very dark in here. But that is our destination. You can see it turning. I'm going to turn the throttle cable so uh, next step we will disconnect the two cables from here and take off the housing from here and get it all disassembled. So the next step I did is I took off the bar end here, um, loosened these two to take them out so that I could open up the housing and take that off and I loosened up the backs of these so that these can slide right off 
Um, the bottom one is the pool, and the top one is, I guess, the return or something. I don't know, but so it's going to rotate that direction. So we want to make sure that uh, we connect these cables right when we uh, put them back on. Also, to get this bottom thing off, uh, there was one. Where did I put that? One push clip in the middle here, and then uh, just these two hooks to push out. So I think it was this direction. So you push those in, pop it up with the push pin out, and it came right out. Gave you a little more room to view what's going on under here. So those throttle cables are going to go through there come out right here and up and on. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the whole old unit now. Alright, so I finally have the old throttle cable off. Um, the bottom uh, pull cable was incredibly difficult to get off of the um, the wheel there. I wound up using this pick to kind of pull the to pull the cable up from the bottom once it was loose and then kind of pull it around the little um, little cut in for it there to actually get it off. And once I came off the whole thing slid right off with no problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting the Motion Pro 2 throttle together and um, getting it all fitted up. Alright, so now I've lubricated the new lines. Um, it's there and then hanging off there. I just put it through the frame where the old ones were mounted or routed before. Um, I used Motion Pro cable lube just shot it down the the larger housing until some of it started coming out the bottom where the barbell ends are. Um, just make sure the cable is lubricated properly. Uh, I'm going to grease the reel a little bit like it mentioned too as well and start putting this together and then testing which one is the return line before I start hooking them up. So now I've finally managed to get this thing on. Um, originally I had my reel facing the wrong direction on the handlebar and the housing wouldn't close. Um, also it looks to me like going over the top and underneath the brake line is the best routing for this. Um, you may feel differently but going underneath like the stock one didn't seem to route too well for me, especially since I have a double banjo brake line. So that's what I decided to go with. Now the fun part is the pool cable um, is very unhelpful. So I rigged up a string that I fed down this direction and then pulled back up the other way and then tied it to the barbell of the cable so I could pull it up and eventually with some pliers and um, about 20 minutes worth of trying and a whole lot of sweat finally get this thing through the stinking hole so uh, if you're trying to figure out how the heck you're supposed to do that that's one option so now I'm going to cut that string attach the top cable and uh, we should be almost done at that point Alright, so now I've got everything tightened back down. Um, cables are tightened into their little bracket there. Um, throttle cable overall is secured. Uh, you want to check it just to make sure everything returns properly and is nice and crisp. And is crisp everywhere that the handlebars can turn. 
so that there's nowhere in your steering that gets bound up. But it's all looking pretty good to me. So now it's time to start putting it all back together. Um, first one going back is that little plastic piece that goes here. And then we'll put this piece down on top of that. Just put this plastic piece back in. Make sure to pull that metal piece through and push the push pin on and that the two hooks so that this is secure in place are snapped in. And then we'll connect this hose back to the bottom of the lower airbox cover and start tightening that down. So we've got the lower airbox piece back on. Tighten the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, screws down deep in there. Tighten those back up. Uh, now I need to put the air filter back on. that snaps into place real good like it should and oh, I put this hose back on here and now we can flip up the top and start putting that one back on so at this point everything should be reconnected including this fuel line here, uh, make sure to snap that back on. This hose, uh, the only things left should be the two breathers, two electrical connections, and the fuel line to the gas tank. Everything else should be reconnected at this point. And we can go start putting the Phillips heads back on. Remember, don't tighten those too tight if you ever want to get them off without stripping them again. And at that point, we can put the tank back on and we're just about done. So if your kit came with uh, bar end extenders, just make sure to put the recessed end on the inside to match up with the piece there. Use the longer bolt and your stock bar ends themselves. And that just simply goes right on there. I'm pretty sure the guide says six foot pounds of torque, so I'll torque that down with a torque wrench uh, off video, but it's a pretty simple piece there. Nothing complicated. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is razor blade these grips off, or this grip rather, and put on the ones that came with the kit, which are over there. So there you have it. Just sliced it down grip comes right off and to get the new grip on I'm just gonna clean this up real quick with some WD-40 or something just to get the old gunk off and then I will put on uh, I'm gonna try using hairspray this time I used to use Renthal grip glue on my last set of grips but I don't have any right now so just gonna go with hairspray so that did it just use some hairspray, put that on. Um, I might safety wire it later, uh, but for now, this is good enough to show how you get a grip on, which isn't hard. Um, otherwise, just tightening this down, I'll pull that down a little bit, maybe to cover, I don't know, who knows. But you can do whatever you want. That's on now. Uh, same thing for the other side. And then you're pretty much wrapped up. That should be everything.